This form we're building is going to be very simple. We'll ask for the visitor's name, email address, and comments. To add the first field which asks for the person's name, click on the Add a New Field button. The Order field is used to change the order in which the fields are displayed. You can also reorder them in the list of fields, so let's leave this blank. The Field Type is where you can specify what kind of information you'll be collecting with this field. For something basic like a person's name, we can use a standard field. There are also field types below that work with certain modules in the system like Events, Commerce, or Membership. Open the Unique ID drop-down list and you can see options available for standard information. Choose Name and more options will appear below. Input method determines what type of input the site visitor will see for this field. Clicking through them you can see a preview of each type. We'd like to provide a field where the visitor can insert text, so let's select text box. Label determines what the text will say next to the visitor's input. This lets the user know what to enter into the field. For this field, let's enter your name. Format controls how the label and the input are aligned on the live website. You can have them side by side or with the labels shown above the fields. For side by side labels, you can also choose whether the fields line up vertically or not. The required option determines whether or not the visitor is required to fill out this field to submit the form. If set to yes, you can select an input validator to specify what kind of input the visitor is allowed to type in this field. For example, if you're collecting an email address, the validator can require that an actual email address is entered into the form. If the field is required, you should add an alert message, which will appear as a pop-up if the user leaves the field blank or doesn't fill it out correctly. To save the field, click Save. This will take us back to the Field sub-tab where we can enter more fields. Adding a second field to collect the user's email address is very similar. You'll select Email in the Unique ID field and select Email from the Input Validator, but everything else is basically the same. Now let's preview the form on our live website by clicking the Preview button. This looks pretty good, but let's add one more field that lets the visitor type in a short message. This time for the field type, select Custom. For the unique ID, enter something that makes it clear what the field is for. In this case, we'll enter Comments. For the input method, choose Text Area. This is similar to a text box, but it can be several lines tall. For Label, type in Comments. Now let's press save. Let's preview the form again. Now the form is ready to submit. If you wanted to reposition the fields, you could go back to the blue interface and use the green up arrow on the right side to move the comments field up one position. Pressing preview again, you'll see the fields in a different order. Now let's test this form by filling it out on the live website. I'll enter my information here along with a little message in the comments field. After submitting, you can see the thank you page that was set up for this form. If you checked send notification email in your form's configuration, you may also get an email message notifying you that someone has filled out this contact us form. Now let's go back to the blue interface submissions tab to view the new form submission. Looking at the most recent submission, we can see what web form was filled out, its internal status, and the date it was submitted. But we can't see any information about the form data in the name column. To change this, go back to the Web Forms tab and edit the form you created. Then edit the form configuration. The Display Fields area is where you can choose what information is displayed in the Name column of your Submissions tab. Click the gray arrow on the right side of the Display Fields to see what fields are available to include. Here you'll see the three fields that you added to the form. Choose one or two of these fields and they will be added to the Display Fields text box. I'll put in the person's name, then a dash, then their email address. Press save then go back to the submissions tab and I'll show you how it works. Now you can see more information about each form submission. Each submitter's name and email address are shown in this list. You can also personalize your form by adding special includes to your thank you confirmation page and your thank you email. For example you can include the submitter's name in the email. To do this edit the form again and click the edit form configuration button. In the text editor, you will see Insert Custom on the left side that when click says Insert Custom Field. Here you will see the fields that have been added to this web form. Clicking on one of them will insert it into the editor. For this example, we can type Thank You Form Field Name. We will contact you as soon as possible. When the visitor fills out the form and clicks Submit, whatever was entered into the Name field will show up where we put our special include.